You you've been hustling, bro. Like I I've been following you for a minute. Um, you know, ran yeah. into you a couple times. Yeah. You know, doing what you do, and yo, this is amazing. Like honestly, Thanks, bro, man. you like up in person, you're you're the best artist that I know personally. And like this is it's crazy, bro. Like it's crazy. Like so, everything you doing, respect you for it. You know, I appreciate keep the hustle, that, man. I appreciate that. So man. I definitely. First question, you know, I want to ask you, like, who is the art bully? I mean, who is the art bully? You know, I'm just a guy. Like, I figure out that art is what I want to do with my life, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm trying to build a legacy for my last name, you feel me? Like, I'm trying to work on something that when I'm gone, like, people can have something that, like, when I'm gone, I have a legacy. I can lead to my kids, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, when I'm, when I'm doing this art thing, it's not about me just trying to make a cool picture, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to put a little bit of me into everything that I create, you know what I'm saying? So I can try to make it to relate to as many people as possible, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's basically who I am. I'm just a young hustler trying to find my way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that all the way, bro. I'm on the same type of time, bro. Just grinding, 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 work, work, work. And you definitely, like, I see you don't, you don't slack on nothing, man. No, I can. Even by just looking at all your paintings, I, I know that you get your all and yeah. every single one, even to the, you know, detail, the, you know, very pinpoint detail. So, you know, for another question, I want to know, what, when did you start painting? Oh, man. Well, how I started painting, I asked, I started a couple years ago, I say about in 2012. Dang, that, wow, that's wow, very but, true, bro. But I always knew how to draw though, like as a you know as as a youngin. It's, it's like one day, uh, I was in oh, I think I was six, and I drew something from daycare. I came home and showed my mom, and you know, and she's like, "You ain't draw that." <laughs> so she's like, "If you draw, go uh, draw it again." So I went and I, I drew it again. And she was like, "Damn!" And then ever like since that day, like she always pushed me to do my art. You know what I'm saying? But I never like when I was when I was younger. I didn't like really like follow up with it. like as a teenager and whatnot. I was I was more so pressed on you know trying to take the basketball route play. But I was focused on basketball. You know what I'm saying? But it's funny because I actually come from a family of artists. You know what I'm saying? You know, my cousins are artists, my grandmoms are artists, and my aunts are artists. So I feel like it's not something that I just woke up and said I'm gonna be an artist. You feel me? I feel like. It, it, it was called it, 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 it been calling me it just, blood line. yeah it just took me for so long to answer that call you know what i'm saying it took me to to go to school to become a college dropout to get a job that i damn near hated you know what i'm saying so one day i woke up like damn like what is you going to do with yourself and i realized like yo like you got this talent like you need to go back and utilize and then ever since then it, it been no looking back gotcha. you know what i mean Gotcha, gotcha, and and that's incredible, man. So now I'm gonna fast fast forward back the heart, you know. But where, where did it come from? You know, what what does it mean to you? Well, how I came up with the heart, you know, I was going through some some rough times in my life. It was I was still I still had my job, my nine my regular nine to five. I was living at the airport, you know. I was you know it was, it was a lot of things going on that i wasn't i wasn't really too happy with you know like as far as like my financial situation i was going through a bad breakup you know what i'm saying and i and i looked at it like i felt like how can i how can i tell that story and and break it down into a logo without you know just, but just like d dumbing it down a little bit you feel me so i came up with the heart and you know it's like whatever you know, whatever you love in life, you gotta, you gotta put your all to it, you feel me? I'm saying you can't have fast with nothing. And it's like, I got the heart with the bandage over the crack, you know, cause it's like, whatever you go through, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't let it stop, you know what I'm saying? You fall, 
you got to get back up no matter how many times you fall. You got to, you know, dust them scars off and keep it pushing, you know what I'm saying? You can't can't ever give up, ever. And that's how I'm rocking with art. I'm not never going to give up. And you should. And you should, bro. So I, I want to know, all right, Bully, what, what did you see? Like, what's, what's up there? What's at the top? Like, where, what, what are you reaching for? Oh, man. What I'm reaching for... It's basically is 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 legacy of my last name. You feel me? Like I eventually soon I'm gonna uh start my own gallery that represents artists. And you know when it's all after I establish myself as an artist, I wanna give back. And you know once I once I got my uh, my gallery, my studios and whatnot, I I plan on like my my, my retirement gift to myself. Not it's not really gonna be a retirement. I look at retirement being as me, an old man teaching art. To the, to the next up and coming artist, giving them the game and telling them what needs to be done and, and you know, telling them what and how and how to do things and how to go about things, you know, right now I'm just trying to gain all the knowledge that I need so I can reciprocate that energy to the younger artists, you know what I'm saying, so when I do get to that point, so that's, that's basically the, you know, that's the promise line for me. Bro, I also want to ask you, how long does it take on average to create one of these masterpieces? Oh man, it varies sometimes. Sometimes it can take me from anywhere between like a total of 20 hours to 40 or more sometimes, you know. So sometimes I might be working on like three or four pieces at once, you know what I'm saying? And it'll take me like a month or two time span to get them done. Cause like, I'm so like a, a, a perfectionist. I like to make sure I'm getting everything, every detail right. So like if, if, if I'm messing something up, I gotta, gotta keep going back over it until it's to my satisfaction, you feel me? So it's it's definitely time consuming. You got you gotta be patient with art. You gotta be patient, you know what I'm saying? When you rush when you when you rush your work, come out sloppy and looking like anything, you know. I got gotta take my time to Alright, cool, cool. Right. I got you. Um so last, you know, I wanna ask you, what advice do you have to any young artists, you know, coming up in the game or people that's even you know, thinking about art, or probably like how you were. They, they knew they can draw, knew they can paint, but they really didn't, you know, be, wasn't serious with it at first. But you know, that so people that's you know contemplating if they should attack it or not. So, what advice do you have? The advice that I have is that if you love it, don't ever let their love die. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when you find something that you want to do in life, you gotta pursue it. You gotta stick with it. You know what I'm saying? You know, is is every you won't you might make some. Everybody not gonna feel it, but you you can't let nothing discourage you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? The more time you put in, the better you get. Practice makes perfect. You know what I'm saying? You always layers is everything. When it comes to me, when I paint, I try to make sure I'm doing at least ten layers. And you got and you gotta network. You gotta know how to talk to everybody. You can't can't just limit yourself to know how to talk to a certain group of people. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be able to, you gotta uh, widen your range, you know? You gotta be a chameleon, you gotta be able to adapt to any environment. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, that's yeah. basically what I'm to Again, bro, I appreciate you, bro. Man, I appreciate um, you. I appreciate you for man, coming through, bro. Thank you, man. No, no doubt, man. I, I had to, man. Cause like I said, you know, I, I had, I gotta, gotta let the world see, you know, with the art bully got the offer and I know the sky's the limit for you man for sure so again I appreciate you and good luck and God's hand on everything you doing bro